Hey everyone, today we are doing a review on our new map Dead City. The map is mirrored, which gives both teams even chances to win. The location of the beacons is also symmetrical to the respawn points, which means it will take about the same amount of time to get to them if the same robots are used. So, let's move on to the features of the map. On the left of the respawn we have a destroyed bridge. This is an amazing position for using long-range weapons. Kangs, KWK, Zenith. Molots can also get to the center in the line of sight. There are some points of cover on the right of the respawn which can hide even heavy robots. There is also a base for artillery on the right side, which means that you can fire at the enemy using zeniths. Also, you can control the nearest beacon if you have a teammate helping you. The most important thing is to stay in a shelter to prevent getting in your enemy's crosshair when they are on the bridge. The central beacon. The zone is made in the form of a funnel. The edges of it can become a point of cover for both teams. While trying to capture the beacon, you can get close to the shelter and control the respawn of the enemy team. But there are also a lot of ways to perform a flanking movement, which is why it is always good to have someone who will have your back and of course make sure you're monitoring what's happening around you. The Avenue A good place for straight fire. Even a smaller robot can damage a heavier lifting robot, leave quickly, return and attempt to catch the enemy while they are going for the beacon on the bridge. Jumping robots. There is lots of opportunities to jump on many buildings on this map. But keep in mind that this is an easily accessible place, you can get hit from anywhere. This map doesn't have universal points of cover, however, that doesn't mean that you won't be able to take a good position. This map is also not designed for a specific type of weapon. Anyone is able to choose any strategy here. The gameplay on this map is very dynamic, which means the more you move, the better. It's suitable for any player using any mech with any type of weapon. The map is a classical PvP, which makes it interesting for clans. It allows them to fight and find out whose skill is cooler, especially since the map doesn't give an advantage to anyone. Ok guys, thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel Walking War Robots, also make sure you click the link to check another Dead City video.